Smith and I'm a current sophomore at the University of Arkansas. I've lived in Fayetteville the past 10 years and I'm a current pre-nursing major. I'm standing outside the Clinton House Museum on Clinton Drive in Fayetteville. The name of this piece is Bountiful Fayetteville by Ray Russell and it's part of the pig exhibition movement. This piece is one of the 25 pig sculptures around Fayetteville in this movement. The exhibition was started in 2012 and supports Ozark Literacy Council, which is the largest literacy council in the state. Each pig around Fayetteville is painted by local artists through sponsorships by community members and corporations. Last year, OLC taught 263 students from 30 different countries. The painted pigs often reflect their sponsor. Bountiful Fayetteville is sponsored by Fayetteville Advertising and Promotions Commission. This pig reflects Fayetteville by being composed of a tree and the sky showing its natural beauty while also showing some of the most well-known places Fayetteville has to offer. Although Russell is from Fort Smith, she has lived in Fayetteville the past 10 years and has gotten to know the city well and what its civilians cherish most. She received her bachelor's degree in liberal arts at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith and has her own studio on Clear Creek Road. She mainly works with glass, wood, fiberglass, and all types of paint. The composition of this sculpture revolves around the shape of a peg. The lines and curvatures of the details of the tree branches have to form around this shape while still being clear to the viewer. Analogous hues are used in the different shades of green in the leaves of the trees. This sculpture has the romanticized look because of the way the paint seems soft and feathery. This sculpture is not symmetrical. Rather, the balance is distributed throughout the pig. The trunk of the tree at the base of the pig is balanced with the sky at the head of the pig. The main focus of this sculpture is on the aspects of Fayetteville on the branches in between the tree trunk and the sky. For example, the castle at Wilson Park and the Peace Ball in front of the town center. The lines of the tree trunk automatically stand out. The shading of the different shades of brown give the tree trunk a three-dimensional look and make it more appealing. The way the tree trunk wraps around the pig's hind legs makes the sculpture more interesting. Semiology is used in this piece, which is the science of signs. In semiology, the meaning of a work is conveyed by its author. I believe the choice of Russell's placement of the different aspects of Fayetteville show an undercover meaning of the important institutions that contribute to enhancing literacy within the community. At the base of the tree on the first branch is a painting of the Fayetteville Public Library. This shows that the availability of books is at the foundation of solving Fayetteville's literacy problem. On the next branch up is the Walton Art Center. Here, Russell's emphasizing the importance of the arts and how that can stimulate literacy growth. As the branches get higher, the images turn into different aspects of college life, for example, Old Main and the Inn at Carnell Hall. Russell is showing that adequate literacy will take someone far with a future of attending college and graduating. The style of Russell's painting was inspired by Impressionism. She copies the light, feathery brushstroke techniques that are found in this period. Impressionist painters preferred leisure activities, entertainment, and landscape, much like the painting of the sculpture Bountiful Fayetteville. The different green hues of the leaves look very similar to that in the painting Basin des Nymphias by the Impressionist artist Claude Monet. This sculpture also shows continuity, innovation, and globalization since this is a realistic piece that serves a purpose in society to raise awareness of the literacy issue. Finally, this piece is environment art since it is in the environment of Fayetteville and available for the community to see and appreciate. I chose this piece because it is unique to Fayetteville and benefits the community. I had seen these pigs being put up around Fayetteville in various places and I never quite knew what they were for. I chose this specific pig because I had passed by it several times, however, I had not stopped to look at the details before this project. I like that it does a great job of capturing all the features that are unique to Fayetteville. Each of these images on the sculpture I have a personal connection to. I played an instrument in the grand opening of the Fayetteville Public Library in elementary school. I have gone to the Walton Art Center multiple times to watch plays with either my family or on school field trips. I grew up attending Arkansas football games, living minutes away from the stadium, and cheering on the Hogs. I took prom pictures in front of the Greek Theater and now attend pep rallies for the football games there with my sorority. This sculpture is a reminder of a lot of memories I have had while growing up in Fayetteville.